okay so we're not in our typical setting we are upstairs in our workspace um so we're not at our desk today but i wanted to show you what all comes in the opulence wealth bundle so as you can see first things first it does come with a little pouch and let me start taking some stuff out so that you can get a feel of everything this is my personal pen so <laughs> we're gonna move that to the side but so with the opulence bundle you have a choice between a beige calculator or a green calculator so it's up to you you can choose that on the website you can specify which one that you actually prefer so that's one thing that you get another thing that you get you get some cash envelopes and as you can see it comes in this little uh, pouch that you can either use for your bank runs or it can house them um, in your purse so you can put this whole thing in your purse when I go for a bank run out as you can see this little pouch it enables for you to keep both the money and the pouch in there so these are our cash envelopes and in our standard uh, pre-made bundle you get grocery gas household clothing beauty and eat okay so you get the cash envelopes and what the cash envelopes are for are for like your everyday essentials then you get a cover you have a choice between our clear cover or you can have the Malia cover with the nude on the outside and the blush pink on the inside or you could get the hot pink one for a limited number of customers you can also get our hot pink pretty planner tote for you to take with you as you go grocery shopping or go to the market or you can use these for um, anywhere like I use it for planner supplies I use it when I go to the grocery store Sam's Club um, it'll hold small things from Sam's Club <laughs> Uh, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's a nice size. I can't remember the exact dimensions, but it also has a gusseted bottom so that it stands straight up. So you get one of these and we, uh -oh, you get a dashboard. So we'll put these on top of here and you get a dashboard to go on the front. You probably can't see, but you get a set of blank dividers. So the first page has some information for you like what this bundle includes um term terminology to know like sinking funds what is a sinking fund cash envelope um what that is examples of cash envelopes examples of emergency funds and you know how some people decide to pay their bills we put that in there as well so this is my personal one and I will probably just reach over and grab this one that is clear so you won't have to see it. But just to give you an idea, I haven't filled out my July because I used Pretty Savvy for July. And so I just didn't feel like transferring it over. But I'll start it in August. And so the first page are the six month financial goals. And here you can track like your monthly starting goal, your monthly starting savings, and then your monthly starting credit score. Um, and then these are what your goals will be for these three categories, and this is what your actual would be. So at the end of the month, you can go in and track what you actually saved, how much debt you actually paid off, and your actual credit score, how it uh, changes from month to month. And we also left this little space right here clear so that you can write down any notes of any changes that you may have had in your finances if you had to open a new account or if you want to put a quote there or um, um it's a mental thing you know it's it's your habit so your financial habits so you can write just small things down there so that you can keep track of what your um, debt savings and credit score so this is how I did July it's kind of a repeat because like I said I did it um, in the pretty savvy but I've already because um, I have all my expenses already listed in like a, 
an Excel spreadsheet so I kind of know what I need for the month of August and then on here I've written down like my paydays you know you could put the the actual expenses up here you could just put down um, expenses that are typically out of the norm just so you know that you need to put them in your budgeting sheet uh, a new feature that we added to the monthly is no spend so if this is gonna be a no spend month for you you could just check no spend and then you can color in the boxes that are appropriate for if you completed a no spend month or just to track your spending habits but yeah so you can color code this you can do however you want or you could just list them out um, I typically list them by payday so this payday this is what all comes out for this payday for this payday this is everything that comes out for that one so I kind of like have them separated by pay dates because I get paid twice a month or bi-weekly if that makes more sense <laughs> so for August this is my first check and then this is my second check so what I've done is I've already placed how much I've budgeted for each bill in here um, and how you can use let me get one that it's not filled out but a good way of how to use this one thing that I also said is that even if you are not a um, a bi-weekly pay person maybe you get paid once a month what I would suggest is if you need extra space on this side you can just mark out the income and just use the expense so that way you're able to track all of your expenses okay so you have your income here you have all of your expenses here you can list it out by budget or your actual amounts at the bottom it says what is your balance after paying all of your expenses so you just minus your income minus all your expenses and this is where you can put your balance okay so then what you want to do is after you see what your balance is after paying your bills you can flip this over and head straight to your cash envelopes these are things for your everyday expenses you can list them here and the amounts that you're going to stuff these envelopes there's two of them so maybe you could do one for one paycheck another for another paycheck you can do it however you want if you want to do just a running total you could do that so then you determine after i have placed all my money into my cash envelopes how much can i put into my sinking funds and your sinking funds are like your goals or any upcoming expenses that you might need to save for any debt that you want to pay off so it's almost like where can i throw this extra money and you that's where you could put these into your sinking funds and you also get six of these so these are tab they have like a little pocket you can put your money in there so just like this So if you want to save for holidays, you just throw it in there, just like this. And there you go. It's in there. Another thing that you can use these for is if you need to house uh, receipts behind the money or anything like that. These are very durable. They are waterproof and they have a cute little frosted finish. You can get these already pre-made or you can have them custom or you can actually just get them blank as well and put your own on there so you get a set of these so you get six of these you get six cash envelopes you get the of course money not included <laughs> you get the pouch for the envelopes and for your bank runs you get the opulence inserts so let me show you how else what else is actually included so and that's literally it guys like there's not a lot of going back and forth like in some um systems where people are going back and forth trying to figure out like their next step it literally goes income expenses cash envelopes sinking funds and whatever money is left over after you've put money into your sinking funds then you can figure out if you want to pay off debt or if you want to put some more into some more savings because we also have included sorry this is my own personal one so i have <laughs> kind of
kind of mess with this one around. I just haven't put it in there. We have the Pretty Savvy Savings Challenge. There's enough for $500 on this sheet. There's enough for $500 on that sheet. You can start it and end it whenever you want to. It's $500 up to $1,000 for the whole uh, front and back. So you have that. And then we have a savings tracker. These are actually in Pretty Savvy. The thing that you can do, it is optional, of course, but you can use these savings trackers to mirror your sinking funds. So then you can just put whatever your goal is. Like if you want to save uh, $500 for the holidays, you can put $500. You can put a frequency, you can leave it there. You can put your starting balance. And then here you just put your date, what you've added in your balance, and it can stay right here in front of your sinking funds envelopes. And that way, you'll always have like the sheets right there in front that's have up to six envelopes okay and you can use these for your sinking funds you have your pretty savvy savings challenge and then you also get debt trackers so here you can see that there's a debt tracker is just like how pretty savvy was here you put your goal you can put your minimum payment your utilization your debt or debtor, the person that you need to pay off, starting balance and additional payments. Then you also get, I'm gonna get you a new one. I'm gonna let you see a new one. You also get our check register inserts. I love these. These are like the old school check register books, but in a planner format. That is where you can put your date, your transaction, deposit, or expense, and you can keep a balance of how much is in your account. So, you can either keep all these together, or you can put one behind each month because you get six sheets of these, and it's front and back. Just like that. You have your debt, so you can put your debt trackers in one area. And then, you have your savings and you can put your savings in one area so you put that and that's where the dividers come in so if you see that so you put your debt trackers in one and you put those there you can put your check register inserts in there and then there's another tab and then you can keep your monthlies in one tab like this and then you can keep your tracker, your financial goal trackers in the front like that. So you can put the system together however you want, but this is how I decided to do mine. I love this system. When I tell you, if I don't write things down and use it, I feel like I don't know where I am. I don't know what's paid. I don't, I don't know how much I owe on this card or that card or what's in this savings or this save. So this just helps me take the guesswork out of everything so that I'll know where I'm at. So um, you can use the tabs to put your own labels on there. Oh, yeah, I love this system. Do y'all want to see my sinking funds? Okay, let me show y'all my sinking funds. You get car, you get travel, you get savings, you get, um, oh, holidays. And it's another one. I can't remember the other one. So yes, yeah, so you get, so let's go back. You get six of these for your sinking funds. You get the opulent wealth inserts. You get the, uh, the blank dividers. You get the opulence dashboard. It's very nice card stock. You get your choice of cover. Then you get a pouch for you to do your bank runs or to house your envelopes. You get your choice of either the tan or the green calculator. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. You get the opulence pouch to house everything. And then while we have supplies, you get a tote, our canvas tote, the pretty, the one that just says pretty, hot pink, love this. So yes, and then when you're done, you can keep all of your supplies in one area, just like this. So then, 
Now, I'm not going to lie, the cover is kind of big. It does, but since it's the clear cover, it will kind of like take shape of where, wherever you place it. So you can try to zip it up like that if you want to. And then all your finance supplies are in one area. Very simple. You see how simple this is? Like very simple. Very, very simple. Especially if you pre-plan your budget the month before so you'll know where your money is going every month and you're not wondering where the hell did it go, right? So, um, now the hot pink covers do not fit inside of the pouches. That is the only cover that does not because the Malia cover comes with it with its own essential pouch and it fits in there. So it fits all of your supplies inside the Malia um, bundle, but the Leah, the hot pink wing does not fit inside of its clear little cover like this, okay? I just wanna let you know that that is a disclaimer, but other than that, this is our opulence package. I hope you enjoy what you saw. If you have any questions, please hit us down below. Please subscribe to know what we are doing next. If you have any ideas, questions, anything that you need, please send us a comment and sign up for our email so that you can be the first to know uh, what products we have going out, um, any tips and tricks that we may have, we send it to our email subscribers. And I thank you for being here with me. Bye.